The Air and Space Campaign Medal is an award of the United States Air Force which was first created on April 24, 2002 by order of Secretary of the Air Force James G. Roche. The ASCM may be awarded to members of the USAF who, after March 24, 1999, supported a significant U.S. military operation designated by the Chief of Staff of the United States Air Force as qualifying for the ASCM. Topic: Eligibility. To be eligible for the Air and Space Campaign Medal, a service member must perform direct support of a military operation for at least 30 consecutive days or for 60 non-consecutive days. Direct support is defined as deploying in support of an ASCM-approved operation inside the geographic area of combat which historically were deployed forward. This includes, but is not limited to, sortie generation, intelligence, surveillance, targeting, etc. Squadron commanders may determine other functions that meet the intent of this award. Members who provided direct support for 30 consecutive or 60 non-consecutive days to one of these operations inside of the geographic area of combat qualify for the ASCM. The Air and Space Campaign Medal is only authorized for Air Force personnel and is prohibited for issuance if another campaign or service medal has already been received for the operation in question. Additional awards are denoted by service stars. <laughs> <laughs> Qualifying operations Operation Allied Force the 24th of March 1999 to the 10th of June 1999 Operation Joint Guardian the 11th of June 1999 date to be determined DTBD Operation Allied Harbor the 4th of April 1999 to the 1st of September 1999 Operation Sustain Hope – Shining Hope – 4 April 1999 – 10 July 1999 Operation Noble Anvil – 24 March 1999 – 20 July 1999 Kosovo Task Force Hawk – 5 April 1999 – 24 June 1999 Kosovo Task Force Sabre, the 31st of March 1999 to the 8th of July 1999. Kosovo Task Force Falcon, the 11th of June 1999, DTBD. Kosovo Task Force Hunter, the 1st of April 1999 to the 1st of November 1999. Operation Odyssey Dawn, the 26th of February 2011 to the 31st of October 2011. Operation Unified Protector the 26th of February 2011 to the 31st of October 2011 operations related to the global war on terrorism to include Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom are not eligible for the ASCM <laughs> 